today we will be starting a new chapter hydrogen hydrogen is the first element in the periodic table its atomic number is 1 and mass number is also 1 hydrogen has only one electron the picture in the screen shows the orbital structure of hydrogen hydrogen always exists in the diatomic state state that means two hydrogen atoms combine to form a molecule of hydrogen that is why we write H2 because hydrogen is always diatomic and the two atoms of hydrogen they share of the electrons by the means of covalent bond in 1766 an English chemist called Henry Cavendish discovered the element hydrogen. He produced it by dissolving metals in acids. He found that the gas was inflammable and it burnt in air to produce water. Hence it was known as inflammable air. Later, it was the French chemist Anton Lavoisier who named the gas hydrogen. The word hydrogen is derived from a Greek word which means maker of water. Hydrogen is the most abundant element in the universe. It is present in the sun, the stars. About 93% of all atoms in the universe are hydrogen atoms. However, hydrogen makes up only about 1% of the Earth's crust by weight. Hydrogen is the main source of solar energy that supports life on Earth. The energy that is given out by the sun is produced when hydrogen atoms in the sun are converted into helium. Hydrogen is the lightest element. discuss about the different methods for the preparation of hydrogen. The first method is by action of water on metals. All the metals above hydrogen in the metal activity series react with water to produce hydrogen. Potassium, sodium and calcium they react with cold water to produce the metal hydroxide and hydrogen. Potassium reacts with cold water to produce potassium hydroxide and hydrogen. Sodium reacts with cold water to produce sodium hydroxide and hydrogen. Calcium reacts with cold water to produce calcium hydroxide and hydrogen. However, these three metals are not used to produce hydrogen in the lab using water because the reaction of potassium and sodium with cold water is highly explosive, violent and exothermic. In fact, they even react with water vapor present in the atmosphere causing an explosion. Hence, they are kept under kerosene. Though the reaction of calcium with cold water is less vigorous, calcium is very expensive, so it is not used to produce hydrogen in the lab. Magnesium reacts with hot water to produce magnesium hydroxide and hydrogen, but the reaction is very slow. So, steam is used in place of boiling water. Magnesium, aluminium, zinc and iron all react with steam to produce the respective metal oxide and hydrogen. Magnesium produces magnesium oxide, aluminium produces aluminium oxide, zinc produces zinc oxide, iron produces iron oxide and hydrogen. So magnesium, aluminium, Zinc and iron react with steam. 
So, hydrogen can be prepared by using water, potassium, sodium, calcium react with cold water to produce hydroxide and hydrogen. Magnesium, aluminium, zinc and iron react with steam to produce metal oxide and hydrogen. The next method for the preparation of hydrogen is by the action of dilute acids on active metals. Metals react with dilute acid to produce salt and hydrogen. The reaction of dilute acids on metals is an example of displacement reaction. See the example I've given on the screen. Zinc plus hydrochloric acid gives zinc chloride plus hydrogen. Zinc is A plus BC that is HCl gives out AZN. And here C is Cl, so Zn chloride and what is liberated? Hydrogen. So the reaction between metals and dilute hydrochloric acid is simple example of displacement reaction. Here the hydrogen is displaced to form a salt. All active metals react with dilute acids to produce salt and hydrogen. However, potassium, sodium and calcium, the reaction with sulfuric acid and hydrochloric acid it is highly explosive. Hence, they are not used in the laboratory to produce hydrogen. Less active metals such as magnesium, aluminium, zinc and iron react with dilute hydrochloric and dilute sulfuric acid at ordinary temperature to produce hydrogen gas along with the corresponding metal salts. During the preparation of hydrogen, we use only dilute sulfuric acid and dilute hydrochloric acid. Dilute nitric acid is not used because it oxidizes the free hydrogen to water. It means whatever hydrogen is being produced is automatically oxidized to water. So nitric acid is not used. The next method to prepare hydrogen is by the action of alkalis on metals. We have already studied what is an alkali. Alkalis are bases which are soluble in water. Metals react with alkalis to produce salt and hydrogen. Now in the screen, base is written because we all know that alkalis are bases which are soluble in water. What happens is when the alkali or the base reacts with the metal, the metal displaces the hydrogen from the base to produce the salt. So see the example NaOH plus Zn, zinc. So zinc will displace the hydrogen. So it forms Na2, ZnO2 and the displaced hydrogen forms the hydrogen gas. So this is how metals react with alkalis to produce hydrogen gas. So zinc, lead and aluminium are three metals which react with alkalis that is sodium hydroxide and potassium hydroxide to produce the respective salt and hydrogen gas. And I've already explained how the salt is produced by displacing the hydrogen from the alkali the salt is formed. So I hope everyone understood what was done today. Thank you everyone. Bye-bye.